Right now on to where Dorian is, where it's going to go. You can see from our satellite imagery, the outer bands are now extending all the way up into North Carolina with the eye wall still off the coast. Now that doesn't mean we're not seeing impacts from this storm. In fact, when we take a look at just the radar imagery, Bands of rain have been moving inland throughout Florida for several uh, hours now. Here's a look at the path, and as we can see, it's a hurricane category two right now, but the path is going to take it right along the coast through the day tomorrow, still as a category two, meaning more wind, more rain, and more high surf. It will move its way up through the Carolinas, moving into our Thursday outlook as a Category 2, again, potentially reaching the Outer Banks, making landfall briefly before heading right back out to sea and possibly even affecting the Canadian Maritimes. So even though this storm isn't making landfall in Florida, we're about to find out just how powerful those outer bands are. We're joining ABC News reporter Elizabeth Her live in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Elizabeth, it's early Wednesday morning for you there. Hard to see some of the impacts from the storm that it's bringing right now. How's the weather been changing throughout the evening? Well, right now, as you can see, it is quiet, but you talked about those bands of heavy wind and rain. We have seen that all night intermittently, and we expect that to obviously continue throughout the night here. And as far as those conditions go, um, it has been worsening, but damage wise, again, what we've seen in the Bahamas, thankfully we're not seeing here. Uh, I'm sure you have talked about how this hurricane has weakened to mm -hmm. a category two. And so some people are here wondering, well, have we dodged a bullet? Well, that's what residents are thinking and hoping, keeping their fingers crossed. But as far as officials are concerned, and I'm sure you can understand why, they're still telling residents the threat isn't over yet. Right now, the worst of at least what we will feel here in Florida is passing through. Everyone needs to hunker down and protect yourself and stay safe. Monica? Yeah, yeah, there could still be flooding. I remember being at the University of Florida when Hurricane Andrew hit, and even with the successive storms after that major hurricane, people said, hey, we'll write, a, write it out. How about this time? Looked like there were some people mm -hmm. there at the shelter. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Shelters are open, and, and of course, officials have kept those mandatory evacuation orders in place to make sure that people stay safe. In addition to those evacuation orders, Curfews have also been activated to pe keep people off the streets. Again, all in the name of safety. Officials are doing what they can. They're just asking residents to do their part. All right, for Monica. sure. Trying to keep everybody safe. You as well, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for staying up late, getting up early to join us with the latest on that. And stay safe there tonight as well.